And one of the first things that Cassidy did when it got to Saturn was it released a little probe called Huygens, which parachuted down through these murky methane atmospheres of Titan to land on the surface. And there was a very simple, very clever experiment, which was they put a microphone on the outside of the Huygens space probe to record the sound of the winds of Titan as it parachuted down. Now, the, the whole descent lasted about two and a half hours. I'm just going to pay, play about the last 30 seconds. And what you're listening to are just the sounds of the winds buffeting the little spacecraft. And this is what you would hear if you were there riding this parachute down to the ground. So this is the only real sound that I'm going to play today. The winds are travelling sort of six or seven kilometres an hour. They're quite fast. And you'll hear it's quite noisy. And then as you get closer and closer to the ground, it's going to get quieter. And the moment where it dims completely is the moment that little space probe settles on the ground and the winds completely drop because it's then sort of sheltered out of the wind. the moment that Huygens became the furthest, furthest thing that humankind has landed a space you know it's the furthest thing we've landed on another body in our solar system I mean, it's not a very sophisticated experiment it's akin to sort of driving along your car and just sticking a microphone out the window okay but you'd be surprised that it hasn't been done more often in particular the obvious target would be Mars and indeed, in 1999, there was an American polar lander sent to Mars, which had exactly that, a little microphone provided by the Planetary Society stuck on the outside of the craft to record the descent and the sounds of Mars. Unfortunately, that was one of the many missions to Mars that failed. So that never worked. And apparently, the Phoenix lander from a few years ago also had a microphone attached. But in the end, that was turned off because it was part of a package that might have interfered with the uh, descent process. And I think they worried at the last minute that it would affect the descent. But hopefully, there are new missions to Mars planned. And one of them may contain a microphone. It will be fascinating to hear the sounds on Mars because you have an atmosphere, it's much thinner than the Earth's, but you have sounds carried, we've got storms, we've got dust storms, we've got winds, there's a lot going on in the atmosphere. So hopefully, we will soon be able to hear the sounds of Mars for ourselves through a similar experiment.